on everybody this is Saul Casaneda from MCSC Green Wheels and right now man what we're gonna do we're gonna be installing our heater lines that are running from our heater core into the engine um, as you guys know we are running a 2015 generation 2 Coyote Illuminator engine we've never started it and uh, I can't wait to do that as we get closer so what we did basically we got these uh, these quick disconnect fittings and there's two different sizes there's one that's a 5 8 and there's one that's a three quarters. Uh, this is the five eight size. So when you guys are doing what we're gonna do, we're doing our uh, rated hose setup here. And uh, uh, when you go to look for it, it's gonna give you the six an, eight an, ten an, twelve an. So uh, we already went through the process of going through all that. We put it on our last video when we started to do the uh, power steering hoses. So for our reservoir, which we just finished up, uh, uh, for I mean for our hydro booster. So, to, to give you the quick insight, so the 10AN is the equivalent of the 5.8 hose, which is what we're going to be using this. And this, this guy that's quick disconnect is going to be hooking up on the passenger side towards the front of the engine running into the water pump. And then we're going to go to the top side, which is the smaller connector on our heater core, which is going to be a nice straight shot. For the other side, which is the, five, which is the 3 quarter size, it's the 12AN size and obviously you can see the differences in sizes here and so three quarters five eighths so since we're going to be using the braided steel line here like this uh, uh we have the black mesh style ones too but the problem is that right around the back where this guy is going to go on the bottom barb of the uh of the heater core it's going to loop around the back end of the intake and then come to the front so what we were trying to do with the other one we get a pretty significant pinch coming right off the back end of the uh, of the uh, heater core and which you guys will see which then again this one being a little bit more rigid won't kink on us and it'll look a hell of a lot better too, to just keep up with the whole motif that we got going on right now so one of the issues that I noticed uh, on using these little guys right here which I mean you're gonna say oh yeah it's it's just a clothes clamp and stuff but you know what they look cool I, I, I think that goes with the motif and it's going to end up looking really cool at the end. You'll see. I swear. Trust me. And one of the problems that I'm noticing right now that is with our 10A uh, uh, hose clamp here, even though it does go into our line, uh, we have a hard time going in here. Now, even though this is the size, the one difference that I see in consideration to this guy is that he has a really small ridge right here. Really small ridge all the way around which I'm assuming stops the very part of the stainless steel so on this one it has an even bigger ridge as you guys could see that the the holes actually been reduced a little bit more so what I'm gonna do to fix that man I'm just gonna grind it down evenly with my trusty old Dremel here we could with what we could at the time being which is with our strength and all these other tools that we have here I'm just gonna turn this dial down like that there we go and that's it I'm gonna leave it like that because I'm gonna install it let's go measure out I'm gonna quick connect it but I'm definitely gonna eyeball it so if I was to go from firewall to uh, 21 and a quarter I'm going to bore this guy open again because this won't go over our heater core side. 
all right guys so what we got here we have uh, this is a three-quarter uh, female side that's going to be going to the engine on the passenger side for our coolant flow and then this right here is a 5 8 barb now we were having a bit of an issue along with this whole little setup because of a couple things uh, one this is a stainless steel mesh and it's pretty pretty tough and so most of the barbs at the end have a have a have a kind of like a welt and it's kind of what the what it holds on to when we button it down the problem we were facing or kind of what I figured out I kind of shaved off here's one that I didn't do it to yet you see that little lip right here all right, that little lip right there just reduces in size a little bit. So what I did, I just gave mine a little bit of a little bit more breathing room. Just took it down a little bit, as you guys can see. It doesn't have the lip anymore. It actually I took off about a little bit over the lip, just so my barb can have enough room. So that's the same thing that I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and take that little lip down, just so I can make sure that when I put it to my uh, to my heater core side. So we're going to go ahead and cut this too as well. This is the length of it. So this will be running from the engine to heater core. So what I'm going to do is here, once I cut this and, I, and it's warm, I'm going to go ahead and put a, uh, what we have on those, a transmission alignment for the clutches. That's wide enough, and I'm going to leave it in there so it widens up the rubber a little bit. That really helped out to do it this side. And I took a little bit off, I just, with a, with a little orbital sander, I mean uh, my uh, Dremel, just a little bit, just wind it up a little bit and give me a little more room. Due to the fact that it's stainless steel and it's really hard to open up, so I kind of have to loosen it up a little bit, give it a little flexology right before I put this bad boy in it. So there's kind of a little bit of a, you know, preparation. Before doing all this, I know we just want to make it look good and make it look concise and, you know, nice and organized. So, we're going to take the extra straps and get it done. So, let's go. Went to our local AutoZone trying to find these little fancy fittings like this guy right here. Now, this is a Dorman part number 800418. And this is a heater core fitting. So, as you can tell, the front's very different. It doesn't have your typical uh, side pinch that releases the quick valve which the connector at the bottom stays in there these guys are a little a lot different if you could tell so it's it clicks right at the very front because if you look at the connector on the heater core it's got just the, the front ring most of the ones with the side snap they have the ring at the bottom so we we're going to try and use this and even though it does fit on our three-quarter side which will be the side coming over to the uh, driver side I can't use it. I actually needed a 90 to come there so we can make this look really, really beautiful clean. So had it looked like this, I totally would have used it because this hose is going to come back around and to the front of the driver's side of the engine. So although I cannot really use it, what I am using it for, after I cut my line here, uh, I went ahead and give it a little touchology along with a file in there just to grind it down a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and add some power steering fluid to it now just so give us a little bit of slickness. I'm going to go ahead and use that barb, since it's a 5 8 barb, just to kind of leave it in there for a little bit and make it expand so I don't have that much of a bite when I go to install it to my heater core. Because remember guys, that heater core is aluminum. If you push that thing too hard, you're not going to see that leak. And that's the one problem with a lot of these Mustangs and a lot of things that happen, people don't seem to see that that heater core leaking and bam, before you know it, you got a hole in your, in your floor pan. So trying to avoid that by making this just a little bit easy there's no there's not a whole lot of pressure that runs to this so I'm not it, the hose was a lot thicker so I just thinned it out a little bit just to give me a little bit extra room like I said there's not a hell of a lot of pressure these are made for I think it's like 500 burst it doesn't it's not even gonna be that much so I don't think the I don't think it's even gonna get that hot and bam just like guys just like it was when we first tried it we were getting a lot of fight another thing that we're doing I'm going to go ahead and work on this guy right now so I don't get that fight because i got to have this guy installed when I go to do it. So let's finish this up. Size hose, which loosely translates it to be a 5 8 hose. And so this is a, this is just, a, as you guys know, these are the, uh, this is just a clamp. It's got the fancy little shielding on the outside. And there it is. So I'm all the way in and I shouldn't have that much of an issue. That's what I mean. See, you guys gotta. Oh, yeah. I think I got it. Yes, sir. 
see the first time we, we were trying these out on test fits and whatnot we were only getting to about about this far in which by the time the barb hit this end I thinned this out the back end the back side's already been thinned out uh, ever since I, now that I did that it, you can see the balls right here so it's okay because the clamps eventually just gonna clamp down here and not let it slide and we just don't want any leaks as well too like I said there's not a whole ton of pressure in here but it does leak so my intention is to make sure this goes in nice and smooth to our firewall without damaging our heater core. Let's go do that. Just using some uh, some power steering here, some regular power steering fluid. Just dabble it in there. Battle with my heater core. Let's see what we can do here. for anything better now I could just rearrange that boom let's get the other one done it's registered as a 12 an hose let me okay good I don't want to blind any out this is registered as a 12 an hose and again, I mean, we got it. We're just going to make it look good. I know it's, it's pretty, um, it's overkill, but whatever. We don't care. We're doing it. So this, uh, uh, the 12 AN hose is the equivalent of a three quarters. And again, we're going to do the exact same thing. We got our, uh, we got our fitting already here. And this is a three quarters exit right here. And uh, again, this is a three quarters entry. So it's the female three quarters with a male three quarters. This is a three quarters female with a five eighths male because the back side of this uh, heater core is 5 8 and this over here is 3 quarters. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and fit from here. I'm going to go ahead and try and install this hose into here and then kind of route it around this way, come around here just to get the precise measurement so we can go ahead and uh, cut it up, see what we can do. Okay, let's uh, stretch it out a little bit over here. Watch out, it, it gets abrasive. Yeah, that ends so don't get your fingers. Oh, okay. Alright, that's pretty much, that's pretty good. Okay. Give myself a little bit extra. And you can see like where it thickens out. This is where I have, so now I was battling for it for a little bit to get it this close. But you can see like right at this ridge, the barb will go through it and uh, it thickens out and since this is a little lower I just had to go back a little bit just take it off a little bit it's no big deal because again it's a clamp underneath here it's just really for look guys so what I'm gonna do again I'm gonna go ahead and take the other one I have here which is my 12 an clamp fitting to make it look so fancy fancy and then uh, I'm gonna take my Dremel and uh, heat this up a little bit I mean uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just take it down a little bit with my Dremel and heat it up Stick another 5 8 barb I got. I'm there, another 3 quarter barb I have in here just so I can get it expanded, heat it up, get it ready so I can go over to the car and put it solid. All right, we uh, went over to our buddies over at AutoZone and we just picked up a Dorman. It's uh, coolant bypass caps. These are the 3 quarter style bypass caps. It's uh, 02250 is the part number on these, and that's basically it. It's really thick rubber. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna slide that guy right in there because we are not going to use this port. So once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and slap a little thin little uh, uh, clamp on there, and that'll be all set. Once I connect this hose, all we have to do is get our cooling lines in here, and we're ready for some cooling. Just trying to turn it at the same time as I push in on it. Now all we got to do is pretty it up a little bit, and we should be fine. So now we got all our heater lines in. We can start actually getting it ready. We're gonna have to go get our uh, upper lower radiator hose. And uh, she's ready for coolant. Um, that's 
pretty freaking awesome. This looks really nice. All we gotta do now is pretty much just tighten them on our clamps, tighten them down. It will behoove us, because you know, like a lot of times it will happen, they dry up and then they, they kind of grab the cover and you may give it a nice little tug one day and off it comes. This thing does get hot, so there we go. Right underneath there, and there we got it. Bam. That looks really kick ass, because for the most part, you can't even see them. They come right off the back, they hide away real nice. Uh, we just lay it down right along with the uh, harness. I like how this wrapped around. Man, this is uh, it's coming out amazing. As you guys can see, we have our fuel line, which is running right across here, into our uh, fuel, uh, fuel regulator. And then, uh, so as you can see, it's a braided line. We kept that motif going. And then what we did today, we went ahead and got our heater hoses done to our, uh, our uh, heater core. Um, we do intend to have full heat in this bad boy along with AC. So we went ahead and customized and made our own heater lines right here. So we went over a little overboard, as mostly everyone will say, that we do go overboard. Yes, we do. We always go overboard. Why not? You know, we're doing this once, and we're probably going to be the only last time to do it. I'm lying. Anyways, uh, what we did, we ran our three, our two heater hoses. We got the one running over here. Now this is a three quarters to three quarters. This uh, heater line that we're using is a 12 an, along with a. It's just a regular clamp, but this is a 12 an fitting to make it look nice and neat. So I think that uh, I think it looks really nice. So this 12 an just runs around here and kind of connects to the first one, your first connector, which is the bigger one, which is the three quarter side right here. So we wrapped it around this way, and then we went really short and came out of the other side. Now this is a 5 8 and again, this hose right here is a 10 an, and again, that uh, equivalates to the 5 8 And that came around to the front right here to a 5 8 to a 3 quarter connector. Now we got these bulkheads online. They're about, I want to say about 8 to 10 bucks a piece. Uh, so you can find them on eBay. Uh, I think we'll put the numbers down. Uh, actually, you can find them on Amazon, and uh, we'll put the numbers down on the site, on the on the on the on the video, so you guys can see if you guys need to order them. You can also pick them up from your local AutoZone as well, too, on their dormant part numbers. Um, I don't have those part numbers at the moment, yeah. but you know what? They're we'll fun. find them for you. Or if just as you know what, just give us a comment, ask us. We'll go ahead and let you know. So, along with that, we went ahead and did the little reservoir. Oh hell yeah! So we mounted our reservoir. It's ready to rock and roll. We got a Mishimoto reservoir to our Mishimoto uh, all three row aluminum uh, radiator along with the Mishimoto fans that we're going to be setting those up in the next couple, the next couple days. And we got his little line all set up too as well. Look at that. Look at that. Looking nice and tight. Coming around the uh, return and the, and the main fuel line to our regulator. So as you guys can see, now the only thing that we're going to bring is our new hoses coming from the bottom here to the, to the, uh, to the thermostat housing right here. And then the one on top to right over here to the bottom. Oh, where'd you go? Did I lose it? Oh, right here. So it comes right around to here. So they're both coming to the thermostat housing. And like I said, we capped off this uh, this bypass right here because we are not going to use it. Uh, typically, uh, these kind of sit up here with the reservoir on top, so the feeds the reservoir continuously. And uh, these go, of course, to your AC, to your uh, uh, heater core. So this kind of feeds your reservoir because most of these cars you fill through the reservoir on the on the newer Mustangs. So they don't have the cap like we do. But since we're running an R93, we have a radiator. We have a radiator and we have a cap to it plus we're gonna have the uh, the, the reservoir him out to the side so I'm gonna go ahead and cap that bypass off I want to thank everybody on our Facebook page guys if you guys are out there looking for a Mustang any prices just go ahead look us up at our Facebook our, at our Facebook page is MCIC green wheels on Facebook go ahead and check us out there and then you'll find that we post cars from any range from them being given away to 30 40 grand 50 grand buyer beware and guys remember these are not our cars we're just helping in the community just trying to help somebody get a fox body mustang out there get them while you can they're going hot 
Second of all, I want to thank everybody on our Instagram page. Thank you guys very much. Thank you to everybody that goes around there and gives us comments. I try to send the shout outs as much as I can. Um, thanks to Lube92 for giving us our SA, uh, uh, S, um, SN95 uh, uh, advice. And to, I forgot your name, but I'll get it to you, brother. You gave us the uh, the, the the information to find our, our uh, power steering uh, fittings. Although we didn't go with that, but we had a surprise for you. We will be coming to, back to that um, with our other uh, with our other 93 that we got. So we'll be setting our 93 notch back that we call the Grunt up with a different uh, hydro booster. So you guys have seen us and have seen the pictures that we get up from the banjo bolts. And last and not least, everybody on YouTube, guys, I cannot thank you enough for the uh, support. Thank you for the comments. Thanks for coming on here and giving me some pointers. If I did something wrong, let me know. We'll be glad to either correct it or talk to you about it. And hopefully you can give us some knowledge back. So guys, stay safe. Let's finish these builds. We'll see you at the finish line.